The school is the School of Forensic and Investigative Sciences and it's very broad, broad in nature. It covers five main discipline areas, forensic sciences which covers forensic biology, forensic chemistry, crime scene investigation, the laboratory based analysis of evidence, evidence interpretation and evaluation and forensic anthropology. We also cover archaeology, chemistry, policing and criminal investigation and fire and fire safety engineering. So it's a very, very broad department. The sort of main aim and mission of the school, I think, is to provide a good student experience to, to be world leading in, in research and innovation. The school has received about £30 million worth of investment over the past 10 years and has a range of dedicated laboratories. A big part of that investment has been a £12.5 million building which houses state-of-the-art chemistry facilities and fire safety engineering facilities. That's accompanied by dedicated criminalistics laboratories whereby we have all the equipment that the forensic science providers worldwide use. We have three crime scene houses, we have our Taphonomic Research and Anthropology Centre for Experimental Studies, the only Taphonomic facility in Europe that our undergraduates use, and most of our postgraduate programmes are taught in dedicated laboratories, whether that's DNA profiling, forensic anthropology, document analysis, and we have access to live burn facilities to underpin some of the fire programmes. We also have an interview suite to help underpin the policing programmes too. I think the main strength of the department is the staff. We have just under 80 staff and from a broad range of disciplines. We have world leading researchers which means that our research is, in, is a key to what we teach but we also have an awful lot of practitioners. So we have people who have worked in the workplace for tens and tens of years as police officers, forensic scientists, forensic anthropologists, fire officers and we can ensure that our programmes are both research informed and practice informed.